Hello viewers and welcome to a new pad video for our client. We're doing a specific vehicle video for you today. Um, new client of ours, 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee towed in, uh, rough running, no power. So uh, vehicles brought in to me. Uh, first thing I noticed is oil level was low. Uh, this is a, a three and a half quarts it was low. So I got the oil level back up. So I noticed in the scan tool data, cylinder seven and eight, which are the back cylinders on each side, seven on the driver's side, number eight on the passenger side, they were hardcore misfires. I mean, it was just misfire, misfire, misfire. Okay, so first thing I did is pull the spark plugs out. So here's one right here. Look at the gap, the electrode is gone. Good. This right here, this electrode portion right here should be protruding upwards. But you can see it's flush with the ceramic. Uh, these are very excessively worn spark plugs. So anyway, I, um, <clears throat> I swapped these spark plugs just to a quick check uh, with the front cylinders, the coils, the plugs, misfire stay in those two rear cylinders. So from there, I performed a compression test on cylinder eight, which is the passenger side. Compression test, zero PSI. I had zero compression at all, not even the slightest bit. So I run my a bore scope or camera down into cylinder eight to watch the intake and exhaust valves and see exactly why we had no compression at all. And so we're going to insert this video that we made from our bore scope camera here so you can see it for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to play this video that we made with our bore scope. This is cylinder number eight. This is the far rear cylinder on the passenger side of this V8. Grand Cherokee. Um, before we start the video, you can see one valve here, one valve here. And I'm not certain by the time of this video which one's the intake and which one's the exhaust at the moment, but you got an exhaust valve and an intake valve. And I don't have the valve cover off, so I'm going through the spark plug hole with a bore scope video. So we're going to play the video, and you can see one valve's already open here, but what looks to be the valve seat has come out of the cylinder head and touching, you know, keeping the valve open. So let's play it. And you can see as we crank it over, my camera moves because the piston hit my camera. But watch this valve over here. It'll open, there it is opening, and it'll close. Well, this one should be doing the exact same thing. It never closes. All right, so now you've seen that video, uh, you can clearly see that one valve, whether it's intake or exhaust, it is not closing. So that's where all the compression's going. That's why we have zero. Uh, so we clearly need to pull the head off of this car um, and send it to the machine shop, whatever it may be. Anyway, that's down the road. So I wanted to find out why cylinder seven is hardcore uh, misfiring as well. So I, put, I took my bore scope, run it down in the spark plug bore, uh, and you can see the oil, we're gonna show you some still images in a moment. You can see actually the head gasket leaking. Uh, the oil puddled up in the top of the piston and also the oil running down uh, the side of the cylinder wall from the head gasket. And you can also see the scoring in the cylinder wall on one of the still images we make. So check these out. All right, so I hope those uh, uh, photos were of help to you. So ultimately our diagnosis will be that these, at least minimum, these cylinder heads have to come off both sides. We'll send them to the machine shop. They'll get a new valve job. They'll get new seals. They'll get flattened and machined out, cleaned, uh, ready to bolt back on. Uh, clearly need spark plugs. Uh, there may be some other underlying issues with fuel injectors or something of that nature, but we do not know that yet. Uh, it's kind of pointless to test those at this early in the game uh, just because we have such a, a much more of a, a drastic problem than uh, if it were to be a fuel injector or something else that's above and beyond what we have. So anyway, that, that would be kind of a rarity, but what I know for sure now is we have to pull the heads off this car, so 
We're gonna contact our client, we're gonna send them this video. Again, this is a 4.7 liter V8 Jeep Grand Cherokee, cylinder seven and eight misfiring. So I hope this video was helpful to you and thanks for watching another pad video.